Yo, what's up guys? My name is Severman and in today's video I'll be making a progressive house drop from scratch in the style of uh, Martin Garrix and Upvision, like their brand new collab Empty. Let's get straight into the video. I'm gonna start by writing some chords. Gonna use uh, true pianos for that. I'm gonna go for, for a similar chord progression as in their track Empty. Build some chords. Ah, oh. Yep, I like that a lot. Let's uh, write a nice melody. I'm gonna grab a serum. Also, today's video is sponsored by Savage Sounds. I'm gonna be using his brand new pack, um, Lion 3.0, which is perfect for emotional progressive hoes like Martin Garrix, Stop Vision, Madison Zetko. So I'm gonna be using his, his presets, his samples for this video. Let's make a cool melody. If you like the Savage Sounds presets and samples that I'm gonna be using this video, check out the first thing in the description, get the pack. Let's continue with the video. Alright, let's check this out. Nice, I like that. Let's try to find the cool um, variation at the end. Let's maybe go up. Do some quick lead layering. Maybe this preset carry you. Let's check out some more. Then I want to do a fourth one. Um, Maybe a plug or something like that. Let's see if this one, I like this one, it sounds a little bit like a staccato string. Perfect, let's set up a quick bass line. I chopped up the bass line so it's following the rhythm of um, the melody. Yeah, I like that one already. I'm gonna use that as a mid bass layer. I wanna find a sub first though. Yeah, this one sounds pretty fat. Let's add one or two more mid basses. I like that one a lot as well. And one final one, or something like that. Got this top box character we like that then we want some pads for the the chords i'm gonna do the processing and mixing later on just want to get the, the sounds in first yeah i like that one but this pack also comes with spire and silent one presets so if you have those you can can use them as well yeah this one sounds fat Then I want to have one more that's a bit uh, more like a super saw. Maybe this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Right then, uh, let's set up some drums. So I'm gonna start with a kick drum. Then I'm gonna layer it with some claps and some, some rides. Just lower, just gonna lower the volume a little. 
I'm gonna add a second one to the second half of the drop. Maybe some percussions also for a second half of the drop. And I'm gonna add some snares as well. Could take out the, the kick here to make room for the snares. And we're gonna need a fill for the middle of the drop. Well, actually we could also use these just to like add some additional elements throughout the drop. Like that. And then that's what I was talking about for, for the middle section of the drop. I'm gonna cut this out because we already have the snare there. Right, so we got those. Let's uh, add some ambient sounds. Like that. Always make sure you have the right pitch. So this is C. Our melody goes like that. So I want, I want this to be an E because we're in E major. So one, one of us in C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Change this to stretch. I like this one. And then also very important down lifters to add that extra energy to the drop. These sounds. One sounds good, it's already side-chained. Then maybe this one is a bit more longer. Then I also like to add an uplifter as well. And then I also like to add a riser to the second half of the drop. So now we got this. The other one. All right, so we got pretty much all elements now. And I just gotta mix everything now. I'm gonna start with the bass real quick. Need some side-chain here on the sub-bass. Then the mid days, make sure to low and high cut them. So it makes some room for a sub. And then I want to, want to make them sound a bit more open. Maybe a little bit of distortion. Side chain, of course. Then the chords. Also here, do your lone high cut. And there's a lot of low mids in here that I want to reduce here, around five, six hundred hertz. Also want to make them a bit wider. And then also here side chain. That sounds good. Then we got the leads. Once again, low and high cut with the leads. We can go a little higher with the low cut, maybe 200 hertz. Too much we need to do here to be honest they sound pretty good already obviously we just need some reverb increase your low cut high cut a little decay 3.5 seconds link it to the p controller <laughs> i do this in like every video and then you can change the amount or whatever here with the p controller Sounding pretty fat, and uh, just some sidechain. The drums, there's not really not much we need to do. I just need to find the right volume levels here. For this, I just listen to the kick and then I change the volume of the downlifters. Can also double check with span. Yeah, that looks good around the minus 36 mark. Other sounds, uplifters.
All right, I think that sounds pretty good. One sound that I forgot is the piano. I initially just used that to make the chords, but we could still keep it in here, to be honest. We can also keep it sustained. Some sidechain. I'm gonna add some OTT. Get rid of the lows. A bit too much OTT. Let's throw some, some reverb on here. Right, check out the result of the drop that we made and if you want to have the savage sounds pack check out the first thing in the description let's go